prepare yourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we got a whole lot of awful coming. Uh, this is Lou Dobbs. Anarchy and lawlessness, the Biden regime's recipe for destruction at the border. Okay, anarchy and lawlessness. Anarchy is one of the is the go-to word, if you'll recall. This is very short, hopefully, mercifully short. Um, and uh, Dobbs apparently got is being sued. Um, and everybody thinks it's because he it, like he left Fox or Fox fired him, whatever the fuck, who cares? Anyways, he's working at um at um Mike Pillow's um network now. Jo joining us now is Republican. Oh dear, Congresswoman Harriet Hageman of Hageman Harriet 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 Harriet. You rang. Did, did somebody ask for me? Harriet Hagman, at your service. Come on, I'm from Wyoming. Yeah, let's do this. Tell me about it. Here we go. It's terrible what they're doing to Trump. Wyoming, she has been chosen as the House impeachment uh, manager. That's right. If anybody can manage an impeachment and, 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 and not have to care about re-election, it's me. For the Senate trial of Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas uh, and Congresswoman, we are delighted to have you. Uh, I, I am a delight, Lou. I'm just telling you. you with us here on the program, and congratulations on being. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. The impeachment manager for the House uh, uh, in the Senate trial. I feel great. Well, Lou, thank you. Oh, God. I thought you were talking to me. You met the other. Hey, I see. Okay, either way. Thank you for having me, and what else? Yes, absolutely. And uh, you're right. I do need both. I'll say is that I am one of 11 managers. Yeah, it's it's a very heavy lift. Uh, they've cloned us. And so uh, I, she's she's Harriet number one. I'm actually Harriet 10.4 beta. So I'm not actually working on it. I just, <clears throat> they have me going to get coffee and stuff like that. So that if the whole thing takes a shit, uh, Trump can say I was always a Democrat and yeah. So there will be 11 of us managing the impeachment trial. That's a lot of managers. It, it's a lot of, that's a lot of management. It, 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 um, is it that hard to manage? Honestly? I mean, how, how many managers were on the other way? Cause I think they were like the Democrats had three and they went after the president. This is after a cabinet secretary, so 11, whatever. Anyways, I, it's not, not my business, not my business. Well, in the Senate, I am honored to have been chosen for that yes. role. I think it's- Me too, absolutely. It's very important that we hold- It is very important. Hold Mr. Mayorkas accountable and uh -huh. responsible for the failures and his illegal acts and his right. high crimes and misdemeanors. Oh yeah, all of those things that we don't necessarily have any evidence of, but we'll find it. We're gonna, we'll manage to find it. <laughs> That's what I like to say. I'm going to manage to find a way to manage that evidence once we manage to dig it up. And failing to carry out his responsibilities. That's right. His, that's the big one. We're going to high crimes, misdemeanors, and failing his responsibilities. And by that, we mean a difference in policy prescription. Because we didn't get elected in office that he did. And, you know, Biden put him in, and we, he's running it like Biden wants to, and we were for the other guy, and, and well, that's just treason. Just say, call it treason. Can you imagine the- ah! Oh, sorry. God, I was so scared of my own face that I saw yours, and I was like, ooh. That this man, who has lied to you and to the entire United States Congress and the- Yes, I thought he loved me. He bought me this nice turquoise necklace and, and a couple of gin fizzes, and, I, and the next thing you know, I'm counting ceiling tiles. And it for three years, who has lied to the American people. As the number of people crossing the border has gone down, yes. Uh, who has lied to the oversight committees. Uh, uh, by by saying he disagrees with us. Yes, disagreements are lies. I agree. Thank you, Lou Dobbs. Finally, someone said. Uh, who has lied, I guess, to himself. You, you should guess. Make Just to make a guess. Uh, for some time, but could deny. Hold, hold on. Did you say lied to himself? You can do that? My God. This could change my whole life. Did you just say lie to himself? Lie, really? Hold on, I gotta, how do you even get back on this stuff? What is this? Say that again. For, for some time, but could deny responsibility oh. for the immense crisis that is at the southern border. 
Oh, I sorry, I didn't go back far enough. Far enough. Far enough. Let me. Sorry. One. One second. Say that. Again. Who has lied? I guess to himself. Uh... How can you wait? Don't say that. No, don't. What the fuck are you doing? You know what? I'm here a minute, and already you managed to fuck up our whole case. You can't lie to other people if you're lying to yourself. You're just mistaken. Now you've given him a get out of jail free card. If he watches this segment, which I can't imagine he would because nausea, but if he if he were to listen to this, he's just going to go, I must have been lying to myself. And we're going to go, oh, I guess you might have been. Therefore, you were mis you didn't lie to me. You were just mistaken in what you were saying because you believed something else or you didn't believe it and you were trying to make it work somehow and then you externalized it and shit. Thanks, Lou. <sighs> for some time, but could deny responsibility uh -huh. for the immense crisis that is at the southern border that Joe Biden chose to turn over to the drug cartels. Well, I mean, they, they're a great organization. They do a lot of great things. I mean, they managed to get a lot of very young people to get face tattoos, and that's that that's persuasion. Well, I think that it is indicative of the Biden administration. Uh, I agree. In his cabinet over yes. overall. They have never taken responsibility for the concert. of the decisions that they've made because now. they're unwilling to acknowledge or recognize that the decisions that they have made have been so disastrous for our country. Right, which, you know, technically just means that they have a disagreement about policy and they're not actually lying or engaged in, uh, probably they're just making mistakes that we don't, or, or are we perceive as mistakes, even though Title 42 caused most of the problems that we're seeing here. Anyway. Country. You have referred to this as a couple of times as a border crisis and I that's true, but it can wait. It's not the kind of crisis we have to deal with right away. Lou, and thank you, Harriet, number two. Um, let me, I think it, she's number two, right? Yeah, that is, I just want to make sure that we have the right, the right one. Goodness me. I like finding number two. Yes, it is number two. Thank you. I, sometimes I get confused about which, which one. PP2. Yes, she's number, she's PP2. So, um, real quick, uh, where was I? Never mind. I agree with that. But oh, yes, I agree with you. That's absolutely right. Last so week, we were in uh, in Arizona. We were in the Tucson sector. And I think that one of the great best statements that I've heard from the Border Patrol there was, this isn't an immigration crisis. This isn't even a border crisis. This is a, a, a th this is a criminal crisis. Yes, it's a crisis of criminality. It's criminals crisising across the criminal thing or whatever, because that's the thing. It's the criminal crises. It's a, it's a, it's a crisis. We're running out of criminals. We used to have a bunch of criminals coming across. Now they've stopped. And then what are we going to do? St stand around here with long guns and our thumb up our ass. It's a waste of fucking time. So this is an organized crime crisis. This is about the cartels. Do we not have an, I don't know how to read that though. Is that we don't have enough organized crime? I can't believe that's not the case in Arizona. Jesus Christ. You ever been to Phoenix? What are you talking about? Have taken control of our borders, both in terms of illegal immigration and the amount of drugs that are flooding across that border. The cartel. Yeah, but most of the uh, drugs are water soluble and will break down. So if they're flooding across, maybe we count it lucky because, you know, that's why you can flush cocaine down the toilet and it dissipates. The same thing is true of a lot of drugs. You know, if they're mixed with water, they just kind of lose their, they, they lose, they get diluted or they're destroyed in the process, or especially if it's not, you know, Water's dirty. Are in control. Our border yeah. patrol isn't. Our sheriffs aren't. Our the 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 Department of Homeland Security is not. The cartels control the southern border and to a certain extent even the northern border. Oh yes, the Canadian. Those are the worst. The Canadian cartels. Oh God, Hoser sixteen. Yeah, Hoser sixteen is one of the worst. And CA CA thirteen is the other gang. They're terrible, and they they're sneaking across uh, sausages and and poutine and and uh, and Tim Hortons coffee, which I think should be a controlled substance because when I drink it, I can't control anything. I have a rhinestone purse that says "coffee makes me poop." Because 
because of the failures and the uh, the violation of law that in Canada that you've seen from Mayorkas and Biden and Trudeau and whoever runs Mexico. I really I forgot at this point. Who knows the cartels? I suppose. Although that's not a failure, it's success on their part, and maybe Trudeau's as well. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. And to that degree. Why is it that there are three Republicans who chose to vote against impeachment of this uh, this man uh, who is, by every measure, lower than a, a snake's belly? I mean, isn't the earth lower than a snake's belly, though, Lou? And I think that's the question we have to ask ourselves is why do you hate the ground you walk on? He is a low life, anti-American uh, of working in the in the employee of the United States government. Wow, that's a weird job to take if you don't like the place, if you want to, yeah, I guess so. He's probably a, he's probably a, uh, I would say he's a Manchurian candidate. He's more like a General Tsao's candidate. You know what I mean? And yet- He's like a P.F. Chang's candidate. <laughs> Sorry, made myself laugh. Here it is three years later and you finally impeached him. Finally. <clears throat> right as things are improving and Republicans didn't sign on to the border bill. I know it seems weird, Lou, but it isn't. Trust me, it isn't. Lou, I think you're going to have to ask those three gentlemen as to why they made the decisions that they did. And yeah, because they won't talk to us. They won't talk to any of the Harriets. Not a one. And don't, and don't think I don't call at all hours. One of them, I stood outside of his house on his, on, on his goddamn lawn with a semaphore, uh, with an Aldous lamp, just flicking away, flicking, flicker. Mm -hmm. I think all three of them would give you slightly different answers. Well, that's how English works. I do. I will agree with that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people. If you, it's it's very, you know, it'd be, well, the weird thing is if they all said exactly the same thing in exactly the same way with the exactly, the, with exactly the same words. I would actually be more worried if that, if that happened. What I can tell you is that I voted to impeach Mayorkas because I have now made three trips to the border. Uh-huh. Did any of them involve uh, peyote? I've seen the disaster that he has created down there. I've yeah, but the sheriff's in the customs and border patrol don't do any of that it's just the disaster in general I've seen what he's done to our inner cities uh, in new york chicago los angeles so you went wait when we went to the border when you were on your phone were you watching videos of other cities while we were at the border i've seen what he's done to our communities and our schools and it all comes back to the fact that he mm -hmm. absolutely refuses to acknowledge that congress yeah. makes the law and he has to carry out the law as written i have yeah but under the direction of the president never mind i'm sorry i started thinking logically for a second anyway i forgot we're from wyoming where there are fewer people than a suburb of Cleveland. Repeatedly said that this is one of the most bizarre administrations that I've ever seen. It's wacky. It's crazy. It's like it's like the Wizard of Oz at Woodstock uh, meets uh, Frank Zappa. Because it's anarchy. And you uh, well, okay. I was going to say that. You could say anarchy as well. Usually when you think about anarchy, you... I do. I, I get aroused. I have not said that. I probably shouldn't have said that. Sorry. <clears throat> Continue. Think about people at the bottom attempting to overthrow the government. No, I don't actually. I, I, it has, it's really like a lot of leather cuffs and, and t-shirts from Hot Topic. <laughs> what the hell? It's the people at the top who are attempting to overthrow our government. They're trying to overthrow themselves? That should be easy. That's that's why if you if you put your ear up against the door of the Oval Office or put a glass up against it, you put your ear up against it. All you'll hear all day long is, "Hey Joe, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you, why are you hitting yourself?" It's not a joke, like that. It is Biden and his cabinet and people like Mayorkas and some of the other people that are that. Wait, people like Mayorkas? They do. I don't like him. You don't like him. That's I find that hard to believe. That, that are su supposed to be serving us. They are truly. They are serving us. 
It's a cookbook! At war with the... To serve Harriet Hagman. <clears throat> You're gonna need a bigger barbecue. American people. They are yeah. attempting to overthrow the American government. Which should be easy since they're in charge of it right now. And I'm, I'm sure there's like a button they could push and that would just do it. If they wanted to just do it, why don't they just do it? And it is one of the most bizarre things. And I think it's why it's taken people so long to kind of get their arms around. How I, I, I'm just shocked it's taken them this long to overthrow the government that they're running. Because it's right there. It's right there. It's like... Like if you're breaking into a museum, you know, and you you slide down on the wire and you're sweaty and there's the heat sensitive floor and you're worried about sweating on it or whatever. And the the, the secret, you know, the device is there, the scroll that leads you to the riches and all that stuff is right there. And you got it in your hands and you're like, think I'll just hang out and sweat. Think I'll just hang out, <laughs> hanging here, sweating and the, and the steaming. How did this even happen? How did we get here? That's what I ask all the time. I wake up. Literally, that is the first thought that comes into my mind every day. Because you don't think of it that way. But truly, when you... Not at all. You look at the law and you read those books and you read the Code of Federal Regulations and you read the, 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 the statutes and it says, this is what you must do and this is what you should... You lost me at, at when you read. Sorry. Shall do, and this is what you can't do. And you look at that and say, you know what? I'm the secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. I'm not going to do any of it. That's right. And you go, mm, 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 sister, mm, nah, uh, I'm all that in and a bag of chips. What that is is it, it's it's a form of anarchy. It is a lawless. It is. It's an organized. It's bureaucratic anarchy. That's what I call it. This is these pencil pushing regulation loving anarchists it's really bizarre it's like the weirdest group of anarchists i've ever seen they've got this thing about like just they they're the only anarchists i've ever seen that write things in triplicate that our country has never previously experienced no, no, it's a brand new kind of, it's yeah, organized anarchy is the worst. When you're talking with uh, about people at the cabinet level and the president just simply saying, we're going to violate the law and that's the way that it is. We're, I didn't know we were talking about the Trump organization and their administration. I didn't realize that I was not prepared for that if I could at any, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Goodbye. That was uh, that was Harriet Hagman, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, it's funny. That's a that's a filter I put on myself, and still it makes my face hurt. I don't know why. <laughs> Just because I'm constantly, even though it does it for me, I'm kind of doing this anyways. Um, and so my cheeks are cramping right now. It's good. I just need some potassium. I'll be fine. I just go. I should always eat half a banana before every show. It's a good idea. Um. Thanks uh, for sticking around. I know I went a little bit late. I love you guys. Appreciate it. Tomorrow morning, radio show, Phil Bittner will be joining us, as will our dear friend, Boston Brian, who has a new video out. So go out and check his shit out where he says, Admiral Asshole, which I, it tickled my fancy. I thought it was very funny. Uh, that phrase, Admiral Asshole. Um, and I feel like I need to give him Admiral Asshole as a, you know, like try to find a way, just get, I'll get you that, uh, that stinger. We'll, we'll get that to him so he can, he can, he can just trick, you know, Admiral asshole. Right. Be, I think it'll work. Um, so tomorrow uh, he'll be on the show for a little bit because Phil can't be there for the whole time, I think. And then uh, next Friday, flappers, patreon.com slash Hal Sparks. If you become a patron, you can see the show for free. And then uh, regular shows next week, except for possibly Wednesday, which is a travel day for a lot of other reasons. And then two weeks from Monday, mark it on your calendar, uh, March 4th, I believe it is. Uh, uh, I'll I'll be telling you guys uh, about uh, shows uh, that we're gonna announce all the dates that we have so far, so far um, for sexy liberal. And so we may be coming to your town, and if we're not coming to your town, I'm probably coming to your town uh, with uh, either by myself or with um, uh, with Nerd Halen. 
where we will be in the the week after that, the the Saturday after the fourth, the eighth, or whatever it is, we're going to be in. No, take it back. It's the second. Um, uh, two weeks from tomorrow, I will be in Dallas um, at, with the lovely folks there doing some nerd haloing in the in that area. And I think our dear friend Texas Paul is going to be joining me, and maybe I can have him live on the radio when I do it. Although I do it from my hotel room, and I don't know how comfortable Texas Paul will be uh, being with me in a hotel room, you know, because, uh, you know, I'm a bit of a tractor beam, and neither of us are gay, but it's just, you know, I just have that effect. Um, I have to close my drapes uh, whenever I stay there. But anyways, uh, that's coming up, too. Love you guys. Take care of yourself and take care of somebody else, and I will see you um, after, uh, tomorrow if the kidney doesn't get us first. Fingers crossed.